In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite cover three beaters from Madden, in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to hit that button and it allows you to stay up to date with everything happening on my YouTube channel. All right guys, so in today's video, I am gonna be breaking down a little bit of a different route combination out of the gun bunch formation that probably not very many people run, but it's actually really, really good with the right adjustments against the cover three defense. So um, the play that we're gonna be going over is the Jets double trail. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab like just a standard th cover three here. And um, I'm gonna jump in here and grab this. If you take a look at this route combination, it's actually a very interesting one, uh, but it's called, like I said, it's called the Jets Double Trail. If I can find it here. Um, right here, Jets Double Trail, okay? And this is what we're gonna be going over. Now you see we have this nice trail route. We have kind of a little angled route to the square receiver on the other side, and then we have some, you know, some underneath routes, as you can see. Now, really quickly, before we dive too far into this, I do wanna let you know if you haven't, if you haven't picked it up yet, I actually have a full ebook out on the gun bunch out of the Jets playbook in the description. You can get this entire offense for literally just $15 in the description if you wanna pick it up. Um, there's a link in the description for you to be able to do that. Now, the only adjustment that I'm going to make here is I'm gonna put the triangle receiver or the running back on a streak out of the backfield. And then from there, I'm basically just going to kind of create space, open space, okay? So what I like to do is put both R1 and circle on a flat and then I'm just gonna motion. Um, so I have double flats on both sides of the field. And what you'll see is if they run some type of cover three with the hard flats, that running back route is going to pull the zone vertical and it's going to allow a lot of open space underneath to be able to hit that little, it's basically a, it's similar to a C route. It's not exactly a C route, but it is similar to one. Um, and if you don't want to do like if you don't want to do all of that, if you don't want to do all the motion or anything, you can just streak the circle receiver here on the right side uh, if you want to do that. And as you'll see here, you're still going to keep a nice little pocket to be able to hit that square receiver very consistently. Now, if the defense uh, goes ahead and they put their zone drops to 20, um, like for example, if they put their zone drops on 25 yards, you're going to see here that a flat zone does not always get out there. As you see, it's kind of a tight little window but you can certainly uh, hit this. Now, the reason that this route is really, really powerful, in my opinion, is because a lot of times, what you're gonna see on this side of the field is you're gonna see kind of a yellow zone in that space to be able to take away the running back option route that is very popular. And so because you're gonna see that zone, you're going to then give, you know, basically be giving yourself a lot of room to be able to hit this little out route right here. This is gonna force a double Mabel coverage, which is gonna open up that middle of the field for the option routes. Now I haven't even dove into the right side of the field yet. That's just the left side of the field. So let's dive into the right side. On the right side, what you're gonna notice is that this X receiver is going to come in behind a lot of the yellow zones. A lot of people are dropping their yellow zones down at about five to 10 yards. And so what's gonna be happening, especially on the play like this concept, here and there's also two several things you can do if you want to leave this drag you certainly can this little crossing route from the circle receiver if you want to leave that you certainly can uh, what you'll see is he's going to pull all of these zones underneath and then you're going to have a nice little pocket to hit the x receiver kind of on that little trail route going through the zone coverage and the beauty of this is let's say that they're running some type of man coverage on you uh, this is going to create a nice amount of natural picks and natural rubs, and that trail route is going to be a very consistent read for you against the man-to-man -man coverage. Now, like I said, if you if you are someone that likes to go ahead and they like to, you know, basically use the flats to kind of manipulate the zones on the right side of the screen, what you're gonna notice is if I have that flat zone over there and I have that streak over here, it's gonna kind of open up a nice little pocket for me to be able to hit the tight end very consistently as almost a snap throw out there uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop a little bit of additional zone coverage here on the right, kind of Mabel coverage style. And if you take a look at what's happening, if I put that flat route out there to the circle receiver, this combination right here, well, if you just watch that tight end right at the snap, you can kind of hit that quick. And as you see, you can get up field and really move 
very easily up and down the field against your opponent. Now, the cool part about this is this also works, for example, uh, if they're dropping defensive linemen. So, like, if they're dropping people out of the 3-3-5 wide, if they're dropping people out of the 3-3-5 odd, um, this same kind of concept is going to apply. You see, you can just get out there quick. It's a nice little easy read. The cool part about it is it's, it's very good against man and zone coverage. So, let's say, you know, and this is what I like to say is, you know, this is kind of my first read, and then I'm going to work, you know, kind of across the formation. You could even do something as simple as um, – you know, flat riding the R1 receiver, just kind of creating a little natural mesh. And then as you see here, you can kind of work that, that left side of the screen. So those are all options for you to be able to have some success with this. Um, you know, but again, like I said, this trail route is super good from here. Not very many people are running a lot of trail routes this year, but the trail route is really good. It's very consistent against man. It's also very consistent against zone. You're going to have a lot of success with this play. Now, that being said, let's say that they run some type of Tampa 2. Uh, I believe that Tampa 2 is going to start rising in popularity just across the board as far as how many people are going to be running a coverage like this. Uh, against cover 2, you're not, you see here, you're not going to have the same kind of window to be able to hit it, unfortunately. Now, if you were to run your bunch to the wide side of the field, that might be a little bit of a different story. So you'll see right here, I'm going to run my bunch set to the wide side of the field. I've got that streak to the running back. And if you watch that circle receiver, he's going to get in a, an interesting area. The problem is it, the deep half zones do such a good job this year of kind of getting out there on some of those routes. You're not going to be able to have the same success that you've probably had in years past. Um, now, if you did motion across the slot receiver on a, on a vertical route, you know, maybe did something like this right here, maybe with a little, you know, a little option route to the back or something, you might have a little bit more success, but as you see, you know your best bet is going to be to hit that trail route, and I'm, I hit it a little bit too late there. But Cover Two does do uh, a decent job at this or against this play, just because of the spacing on here. You just don't have the best spacing now. If you motion the route in, you know maybe you do something like this right here. This is going to have a lot more success. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So now you have a little bit more space to be able to hit this route to Devonte on the outside of the or on the on that sideline. So. That's just something to consider. But overall, this is primarily something you want to be using if they're running a lot of cover three, specifically if they're running cover three, uh, where they're mabling the bunch side, but they're not mabling the opposite side. That's where this route is really going to shine. As you can see, it's a very consistent read for you. Now, like I said in the beginning of this video, if you want to go ahead and get the entire uh, Gun Bunch offensive ebook, that will be available for you in the description for literally just 15 bucks. And if you have any questions, be sure to shoot me a text message. My cell phone number will be in the description for you to be able to hit me up anytime you want. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you guys in our next video.